Hi, and welcome to The View from Business Forum London. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Alex Krotowski, a US-born academic, broadcaster, writer, and social psychologist. Alex, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Joy. And you're also hosting the forum. I am, yeah. Which has been very good. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the big tech trends you're seeing today? Yeah, it's really interesting to hear what people here are talking about, because it's not just the, the financial industry that's trying to grapple with all of this, but people here are naturally talking about artificial intelligence, they're talking about distributed ledgers, cryptocurrencies, those types of things, as well as things like cyber threats. Because particularly in this industry, this is the pointy end of that stick. And if people figure it out here, then absolutely, that's just going to ripple through the rest of the tech industry and then ultimately the rest of the industries beyond. Um, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing those three as, as big themes. I'm also seeing a lot of interesting things about young people or rather the incumbents looking to young people to understand the types of things that they should be looking at. It's been very interesting to hear it from the incumbents perspective. I'm used to hearing it from the fintech's perspective where it's like disruption and really what it's about is is this the right product for the audience that they are seeking to serve. And how do you see that all these that these technology trends are really impacting society as a whole? That's a difficult question. It sort of encompasses everything. I mean, what I find really fascinating in my own work is just how mundane technologies have become. It's only when we kind of, it's only when they're first introduced and then we figure out what they're for and then we find that they're not doing what it is that they think they should be doing that we actually start to say, what is this technology thing all about? That's where we are right now. What is this technology thing all about? But there are so many other technologies that we don't even notice that are part of our lives. So how is technology affecting our work, our life, and our play in ways that we don't even realize in absolutely every way? Okay. Uh, and the other thing that you sort of have commented on in the past is really around the idea of the digital personhood and also challenges in terms of digital identity. Uh, can you explain a bit more about that? Sure. There's two ideas you really need to come to terms with. There's digital identity, which is like um, passwords. Right? It's the stuff that, you, that can contain you in a database. And then there's online identity, which is the kind of squishy stuff that we think we're bringing to the table. You know, it's our profiles and social media. It's uh, the, the things that we put our avatars and our profile pictures, put things, you know, dress those up. Those are two very different things. One is a psychological sense of who we are that we have real ownership over. And the other is very much data points that we don't really think we have ownership over until such time as there is a breach. And then we say, hold on a second. That that's part of me. So the idea of digital personhood is very much about the former. It's about online identity. It's about the sense of self and the sense of ownership that you have over you and your artifacts online. Digital identity is much more the kind of um, the business, the not, as, the not as squishy area. And that's what the people here are dealing with. They're dealing with digital identity. So the challenge for people here is to marry those two, recognize that there is an online identity that's much more about the psychological sense of self, but then they have effectively the genes of who people are by having their data. So who are those people that they're trying to serve? They're a combination of the two, and they can't forget the online identity when they're dealing with the digital identity. Okay, and my last question is, as the host of today's event, you know, what was your big takeaway? What I'm delighted to see and hear is just how on the cutting, bleeding edge of technology people in the financial industry are. You know, I don't have to do any upselling. I don't have to explain what cryptocurrencies and distributed ledgers, I don't have to talk, you know, sort of baby language with people. They're like, they're practically five steps ahead of me because they're really looking at the practical issues and the practical problems that are arising from the digital world infiltrating every aspect of their lives. And that's the big takeaway for me. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you very much, Joy.